Welcome to my world. Welcome to Tiggy's Penthouse. This is my city, and my living room is filled with beautiful people. Today is your lucky day. You get to witness the amazing success of an authentic self-made man, me. Life was no piece of cake for me in my early years. I'd had it with the pleasures of nature. You know, boring green pastures, stupid rolling clouds, and I decided to scram, split. You know, I decided to get out. And Granddad gave me a book he said could help me. A book that could help me? What can you do with a blank book? Well, as it happens, Granddad was no liar. That book was magic. Oh, yes, that book was magic. And with each page, life became magical for me, too. Now I've got designer clothes and a glamorous girl surrounding me. <sighs> Time for your nap, baby. And yummy fresh fruit juice every day. Thank you, sweetheart. Fresh, sweet. We're on fruit. Easy Street now, girls. Ciao, babe. Uh. Pleasant dreams. Nice knowing ya. Bye forever. Uh -huh. oh, 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 my book. Oh, my money. My magic. My life. I've been robbed. Hey, come back here, you girls. Hey, help, help. like a good book to warm up the atmosphere. Oh, little teddy weddy bears. And which department store did you come from? Ah, why don't you go play with your ice cubes? Hey, what are you fluff balls laughing at? My shadow. If that's what it takes to keep you happy, on with the show! Wow, that shadow show really went over great. I could take it on the road for sure. Ladies and gentlemen, come and see the fabulous Tiggy Master of the Shadows! Well, with this shadow business, I had all the success and adulation, all the applause and world tours anyone could ever wish for. But I couldn't forget that friends had become enemies, and enemies had turned into friends. Who could I trust? And once that curtain came down, I was a very lonely tiger. Then, one day in Paris, Uh, come and get the papyrus dress for your show. And watch out! Papyrus is so expensive. You'd better be careful. Hi there, big boy. Here to see my show? See you later. Bonjour, Monsieur Tiggy. Come in, see who play. Bienvenue to my theatre. Now just sign here on the top line. You're gonna be a big star and we'll be rich together.
Well, that's show business. I destroy a theater and win a friend at the same time. Panther was a fearless, upbeat person, and she was very, very pretty to look at. And she seemed to be attracted to me, too. My secret wish was to stay close to her, but it just wasn't in the cards. Come back here, Tiggy. You'll pay for this. What did I get my hands on you? <sighs> you stupid dancer! You burn my papyrus! You'll dance to pay for it. Go ahead! Dance! Dance! Oh. Dance now! Oh. Now! Oh my goodness. <sighs> Oh, Tiggy, I wish you were here. Psst. Panther, Tiggy. come over here. I'm stuck inside the poster. Tiggy! Panther, please, grab my hand and pull me out of here. Okay. Come on, oh. don't be afraid. It's only paper. Uh, uh, come on out now. What is come this? Come on, Tiggy. They're pulling me in, Panther. Uh, Tiggy. Uh-oh. Well, welcome to my worst nightmare. Sorry, guys. You'll have to do this foxtrot without me. All right. You are entering the white desert zone. No water, no swimming pool. <sighs> if you need a fresh, cool drink, try fresher drink. Banana flavor, tomato flavor, and many, many more. Just take your pick. Oh. Jinxed again. A three-wish genie in my drink. What can I get for you, sir? I'm parched. Help me out. Oh, that's too easy, sir. <sighs> second drink, second wish, sir. No, I want to see Panther. Your wish is my command, sir. Oh, my poor dear Panther. If only I could find some papyrus. May I suggest that you use your third wish for that, sir? We're right in the middle of papyrus country. Okay, let's have some papyrus. Great. What else could I wish for, except to go back to Paris? Sorry, sir. I'm not a four-wish genie. You'll have to go back on your own. Ciao, Bello. Do you know who is the king of origami? You are, Tiki. And you've got the papyrus. The director will be so happy. Tiki. And now just relax. This papyrus is for you. I don't care about the papyrus. All I want is your hide. Only hope was to fly away. Again, it was easy for us, but somewhat harder for the director. We made a wish together. We asked to go to the most beautiful place in the world. The aircraft is about to land. Passengers are requested to fasten their seatbelts. The weather is fine. The color of the green pastures is green. The clouds are gently rolling over the quaint countryside. What, what did you say? Green pastures, rolling clouds, and countryside? Oh, no. I know where we are. I hate this place. Why? We're in the most beautiful place in the world. No, we're not. Let's get out of here. Open your eyes, Tiggy. We are. I know this place. I was born here. That's wonderful, Tiggy. Come and show me everything. I want to know all there is to know about this place. What's that tree called? <gasps> Who is that bird? Tiggy, I can't wait to meet your family. What for? 
I left when I was just a kid. I'm sure they've forgotten me by now. You must be joking. I bet you they'll organize the biggest party in the world for you. Come on, Tiggy. Smile for the camera. I was right. Everyone was really happy to see Tiggy again. Tiggy discovered he had a lot to offer and a lot to learn. And that was a good deal. The book would be a memoir of the first part of Tiggy's life, and we decided to write the second part together. What's wrong, son? Feeling a bit fed up with green pastures and rolling clouds? Life in the countryside? Maybe you want to broaden your horizon, huh? Well, well, well. I guess it's time for the story of a fantastic adventure around the world. Come on over here, boys, and listen up. Hey, wait a minute. I've got just one last thing to tell you. You can do lots of things with paper. So go ahead. Fold, cut, paste, draw. Let your imagination run free. Bye-bye. Take care. <laughs>